Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alayhi wa sahbihi wa sallam ma ba'd ayyul ahabbat fillah loving ahli iman in general is a part of the iman of the, the believers this is part of the faith of the believers and this is who the believers should love and show their allegiance to this is a part of al wala wal bara and Imam Muslim mentioned in his Sahih the hadith of Adi ibn Thabit on Abi uh, on Adi ibn Thabit قال سمعت براء رضي الله تعالى عنه يحدث عن النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم أنه قال في الانصار لا يحبهم إلا المؤمن إلا مؤمن ولا يبغضهم إلا منافق من أحبهم أحبه الله ومن أبغضهم أبغضه الله In this hadith the hadith that was narrated on Adi ibn Thabit who said that I heard Al-Bara رضي الله تعالى عنه speak narrated on the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam who said about the Ansar he said no one loves them except that they are the, uh, a mu'min and no one detests them except a munafiq meaning a hypocrite and whoever loves them then Allah loves him and whoever detests them, then Allah detests them. Ahabat al-Fillah, this illustrates for us the importance of loving the Ansar, Ahla Medina, those who receive the Muhajireen. And that this is from Iman. And those people who detest them, and we're already aware of the people who detest them, who make it a part of their creed and their aqidah to hate the Sahaba to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam radiallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam these people you should not have love and allegiance for just like we see those wicked people the Hothi'een who are causing fitna in Yemen killing Ahlul Sunnah trying to overrun the country and destabilize the country the country is already destabilized who are they? These are the people who hold this creed. They hold the, the, cre the creed of Ahla Bid'a wa Zandaka, which is the creed which opposes Kitab Allah wa Sunnah to Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam because they detest the Sahaba to Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam radiallahu ta'ala majma'een. So it's a part of Iman to love the Sahaba in general and specifically to love the Ansar. And in this hadith, there are many, many fawaid. And from some of the benefits is a statement of Imam Nawawi, Rahimahullah Ta'ala, that he mentioned. He says, وَمَعْنَ هَذِهِ الْأَحَدِيثِ أَنَّ مَنْ عَرَفَ مَرْتَبَةَ الْأَنْسَارِ وَمَا كَانَ مِنْهُمْ فِي النَّصْرَةِ الدِّينِ الْإِسْلَامِ وَسَاعِ فِي إِذْهَارِهِ وَإِوَى الْمُسْلِمِينَ وَكِيَامِهِمْ فِي مُحَمَّاتِ دِينَ الْإِسْلَامِ حَقَّ الْقِيَامِ وَحَبُّهُمَ النَّبِيِّ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهُ وَسَلَّمْ وَحَبُّهُ وَإِيَاهُ إِيَاهِمْ إِيَاهُمْ وَبَدَلَهُمْ أَمْوَالَهُمْ وَأَنفُسُهُمْ بَيْنَ يَدَيْهِ وَكِتَالِهِمْ وَمَعَادَاتِهِمْ some of the benefits that Imam Anoa we mentioned about this hadith and, and the other hadith in the abwab that Imam uh, Muslim, when he entitled the chapter uh, and he collected those hadith which show and illustrate the lo that having love for the Ansar is a part of Iman, Imam Anoa we said, he said in the meaning of these hadith is that 
whoever knows or understands the level or the position and status of the Ansar and what they possessed and how they assisted the religion of Islam and strove in making it superior or upright and assisted the Muslims and assisted them in the most important matters of the religion to in the fullest to the fullest degree and that the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam loved them and they loved him sallallahu alaihi wasallam radiyallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'in and they strove with their wealth and their selves and they fought and they detested those people who opposed Islam. Sheikh Ubaid Ibn Abdullah Ibn Suleiman al Jabri, Hafidullah Ta'ala, one of our ulama in Medina, he mentioned some fawaid with regards in his explanation of this book, which are worth mentioning and will benefit us, bi'idhnillah ta'ala. He said, the first thing, wujub muhabbat al-insar, radiyallahu ta'l-anhum, wa anna thalika min khisal al-iman. He said, the first thing, uh, fawaid or benefit, from amongst the many benefits you, you that are deduced from these uh, hadith and this particular hadith, is the obligation to love the Ansar, radiallahu ta'ala And that that is from one of the characteristics of Iman, or faith. Thanian, tahrim bughd al-Ansar, wa nathalika min shu'b al-nifaq al-ittiqadi. So he said, and the second thing, is that this uh, that we gain from this hadith is the prohibition of of detesting the ansar and that that is from one of the branches of hypocrisy in creed athalitha the third thing fi dalil ala anna min asbab min asbab muhabbatillah lil abd muhabbatihi lil ansar The Shaykh mentioned as a, a third benefit that we can gain from this hadith. He said that this hadith also is dalil or evidence that from one of the ways or means of gaining the love of Allah for a servant is that him his he or she having love for the Ansar, loving the Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala in in general. And that from one of the means of gaining the displeasure or enmity of Allah for a person is for them to detest the Ansar. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and protect us from being of those who detest anything that Allah detests and be of those who love what Allah loves. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect the Muslims and bless the Muslims everywhere, especially from the wicked onslaught of Hizb shaitan as they call themselves Hezbollah, but we know that their reality. Those people who hate the Sahaba the Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam radiallahu ta'ala majma'een, those people who hate Ahl Sunnah, those people who kill Ahl Sunnah, those people who oppose Ahl Sunnah, those people who believe in it'taqid, ghayr sabil al-mu'mineen, ghayr aqidah ta'ahl Sunnah, those people who detest 
and have a creed which is other than the creed of Ahl Sunnah and fight Ahl Sunnah, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala humiliate them and bless them to embrace, embrace Islam. And if not, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala rid us of their evil. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyya Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.